Okay, first good target of the day. Got my first rains guy. This is the second site we've been to. My cousin found a, just a plain flat button at a an old foundation site. This is my cousin's old house here. We hit in the yard, digging a lot of flashing trash and got us a good signal. Rains guide went on the front of a sleigh or a buggy for the horse reins to go through. Keep digging. Okay, m moments later, we got, appears to be some kind of a button. My cousin just pulled out. I believe it looks like silver. Pretty ornate. Keep digging. No. Okay. Got the wire for the clacker, but this one's got a little bell. Nice little brass bell. I don't see no intricate on it. It had, I think they had two clackers on it. And you found a, what was the penny you found? Canadian penny, 45, 42. And I don't even know why I didn't get the camera out. I just dug a little flat bottom. There's a little Canadian penny, 42. So we're in a good spot here. Okay, another first for me. That's an ox knob. Pretty sure of it. Good heavy brass. Like a like a nut around the edge for cranking it on. They would have screwed that and hit threads in there and they would have screwed that right on the horn of an ox so you wouldn't get gored. Sweet fine. Chuck another one off my list. Keep digging. Right. This big old stone boat here. It says G. Ingersoll and Son, Vernon, New York. Vernon's just the next town over, so I have to look that up. On the board with some money. Just a 75 Lincoln Memorial. Glenn just found, a, I think about, he found a 76. He's way over there by the old pig pen. He just found a 76 nickel. So we're both on the board with some money. And here's a recap of, now it's already Tuesday and I had to hunt Saturday and then I had to hunt for a few minutes Sunday. There's that uh, rains guide. That ox knob, I got it cleaned up. You can see the threads in there. It must have been on the outside of his horn or something. He must have been rubbing that on something. He's got it all wore off. One flat button I got. Shank broke off. Something gilt. I can't quite make it out. I think that's the back to a two-piece two button. Ring up like a penny, but it's kind of rusty. I think it's kind of copper steel alloy. That evening I found this. I don't know if that's a band for a goose. It says number two. It's like a aluminum ring of some sort. It's part of a John Deere corn planter, toy corn planter. Then the next night I went out just for a few minutes. But a cellar hole on our farm that I found a bunch all on buttons and Chevy. found that brass ring right off the bat. I don't know how I bent over it a dozen times. It was only a few inches down, rang right up like a penny. And about a foot away I found this jackknife. Today I got looking at it. My nephew says it's a ranger. It says right there a ranger. Well I got looking closely. It's Lone Ranger. And we looked on the internet and it says Lone Ranger. Hi ho silver. Over here there's an image of the Lone Ranger and over here there's an image of silver. I bet my dad lost that when he was a kid. I'd ask him but unfortunately he passed away last fall. That I'm going to hold on to. Yeah. Thanks for watching.